Trebich Basilica, an energy vortex on the Templar line. It was the realization that this basilica contained two angel windows that Eva recognized as like one discussed by Rory Duff in a video called Grail Found, the Caravaccia Templar window. Could this point to a Templar origin in Trebich too, we wondered. The idea was reinforced by what looked like Templar crosses in smaller and higher windows at Trebich. It was this that made us go to Trebich to investigate further. Trebich is a town of around 35,000 people west of the city of Brindle. The beginnings of Trebich were associated with an important Benedictine monastery established there in around 1100. St. Mary's Chapel was the monastery church and it was replaced along with much of the original wooden monastery with stone buildings in the mid-1200s, including this imposing Romanesque Gothic style basilica now dedicated to St. Procopius, but originally dedicated to the Assumption of St. Mary. The basilica is indeed imposing. But as it turned out, the windows are relatively modern replacements and no one knows how the original windows looked. However, in between them is an original window that is considered to be very special indeed, a Romanesque rosette. We soon discovered that the basilica sat on the Templar Lay and was sited on the intersection of two Type 4 energy lines that follow the lay and that measure some 90 paces wide. In fact, we were able to track these two lines across the town and beyond. Another aspect of great interest is the northern entrance to the church, the Porta Paradis, or Gate to Eden Doorway, that dates back to the 13th century. The individual strips of the doorway are said to represent plants, mountain ranges, abysses, animals, water, and the humanity of people. Although we thought that we could see other things, including angels, in the design of the doorway. We need to go back and have a closer inspection another day. Without a doubt, this doorway is indeed very special and very imposing. While there's nothing official tying the Templars and the Basilica in the official records, we do know that in 1290, a certain Siegfried became commander of the Moravian Templars, selling his significant estate to Jan, the abbot of the Trebich Monastery. Brother Echo is named as a witness, and he was the commander buried at the Zesnovitsa church, who commanded the entire region for the Templars. Plainly, there were strong links there at the very least. Inside, the basilica is equally impressive. The earth energies can be felt very strongly as the energy vortex is within the church. There are old paintings on the wall, along with what look like Templar crosses and markings throughout the place as well. The combination of the earth energies, the magnificent vaulted ceilings, the impressive stonework, and the light shining through the windows at the altar end really give the church a tremendous atmosphere. The abbot's chapel is decorated with frescoes that date back to 1260 and are indeed the oldest known frescoes in Czechia.
Is it me or do some of the designs, particularly those on the pillars that you can see, resemble sound patterns, cymatic images, just like we saw at Yindrikov Radetz? Was the artist acknowledging the presence of the significant earth energies here? The Romanesque crypt is also spectacular and is the most original part of the basilica, dating back to 1230 and having a ground plan in the shape of a cross. It is decorated by 50 columns and half columns, each with a different motif. What I found very interesting was that many of the stones on the walls also bear the marks of the artisans who built the place. In 1468, Trebic was captured by the Hungarian army and partly destroyed. The basilica was then used for storage and even as a brewery, before later being restored to its former glories. For us, however, the basilica is a place of potent earth energies lying on a crossing of two major energy lines and a point on our Templar ley line. Mm -hmm.